The loin section contains some of the most popular cuts of pork and is generally where the most expensive cuts come from. Major retail and food service cuts that originate from this section include the tenderloin, back rib, sirloin, and loin eye muscle, also known as the longissimus. The loin primal commonly represents approximately 20% of the carcass. However, this can fluctuate depending on a number of factors, such as seasonality, carcass utilization, or end-user specification. When merchandising the loin for chops or roasts, each section can be further classified based on its position in the loin. These sections are identified as the rib end, center cut, and sirloin end. Each of these sections have unique characteristics that will lend themselves to different applications and are generally priced accordingly. Today we'll be separating mostly boneless cuts, however the chef or butcher could also decide to merchandise this section as bone-in chops or roasts. First, the tenderloin is removed from the loin, taking care to separate along the natural seam that connects this muscle to the loin. A relatively small muscle, the tenderloin generates one of the highest premiums in the carcass. At this point, the sirloin, or buckeye, can be removed and can be sold as a bone-in sirloin or alternately sold as a boneless sirloin. The sirloin is the end portion of the loin that connects this section to the leg. It's 80% lean and can be used to create items like sausages, souvlaki, and ground pork. Removal of this item creates what is known as a short-cut pork loin. Ribs obtained from the loin are known as back ribs, as opposed to those from the belly, which are known as side ribs. The bones, or ribs of the back ribs, are smaller and more rounded in cross-section than those of the side ribs. Back ribs tend to demand a greater price than side ribs, as they're commonly more tender and have a greater meat-to-bone ratio. Once separated from the loin, and before they can be properly merchandised, the back rib tail, or button bones, are removed and sold separately. With the removal of the sirloin, the back rib, and the pork tenderloin, the remaining portion is known as a boneless shortcut pork loin. This is a cut that is commonly used for boneless loin chops and roasts, or further processed to make value-added items such as pea meal bacon. Finally, by removing the belly strip and false lean from the loin, a cut known as main muscle is produced. And there you have it. Your pork loin can be merchandised in all of these ways. For more videos explaining the carcass breakdown, visit OntarioPork.com slash food service.